Good day, what's up everyone? Today I'm changing the FIP film for the VAT in my Frozen Shuffle XL. I'm also going to use this FIP film installer um, that I printed from Thingiverse, which I will put the link in the description. So I already started removing the screws. And a few were difficult to get in here, so I had to use an Allen key for leverage. But some of them are really stuck in there. So you gotta get some leverage with the uh, Allen key. Bump it. Had at least two that needed an Allen key. Was wasn't too terrible. Okay, I've gone ahead and taken out all the screws off camera. Um, next step is to take off this metal gasket that sandwiches the FEP film. Um, you can use a knife to kind of pry it up from the edge here, um, but I'd rather not. I don't want to mar it up, so I kind of pushed from the inside and it seems to be pushing out. There you go. There's the old film. Let's put that aside. And we need to clean the gap here. Use some isopropyl alcohol. Alright, so since the Frozen Shuffle XL has such a large build area, I have to use an entire 8.5-11 um, FEP sheet that I found on eBay. Um, and now we'll try to figure out how to use this FEP film installer. I'm thinking it just kind of hope. It kind of helps me hold the FEP film in place. Gives it a bit of tension. Yeah. Almost too much tension, I wonder. So, put the gasket in sunk holes on top. All right. On another video, I saw the recommended punching holes in the four corners. And I'll 
also a hole on the long side. And starting with those locations. Okay, I'm just tightening these in a star pattern across from each other. I'm not sure how much tension I need, but uh, this installer seems to make it a bit easier to hold everything in place. I'll use FFT Wave later to kind of check what the frequency it's vibrating at. I recorded a video earlier which I'll splice into this YouTube of this original frequency. I installed a few more screws and tightened them down a bit. I think this tensioner needs to come off because the thing is ringing at a slightly higher frequency than stock. Although there was a peak at 237 right there before. I might loosen these screws, I'm not sure. I'll just put them all in place first before I loosen it. This one's a bit deformed from pulling it out with the Allen key, which required a quite a bit more force. I think they put a bit of Loctite on some of the screws. Guessing I need to release the gasket as much as possible so that I can loosen the loosen the FET film. Give it a little bit of play. Not much though, there wasn't much play when it was in installed originally. So it's loose enough that I can kind of pull up on the gasket here on the side. I'm 
maybe that will give me enough clay that it won't be as tight as before. I was able to loosen the gasket a bit. I needed the knife to kind of pry this up a bit so that all four sides are loose and now I have quite a bit more play in there. I hope this works. I'm just going to retighten it um, again in a star pattern. And then hope I get the right tension after all this. I finally tightened all the screws um, basically till they bottomed out not too tight not as tight as they were originally just uh, so that the screws are inset a little bit below this inner ring maybe I won't need to recalibrate the plate level because of that um, not really sure I'll have to test it obviously and I'll also have to test if this tension on the FET film is too high. Um, if I try this now. It's pretty close to what I had before. Um, but the original FET film, its thickness was 150 micrometers. And this one is only 100 micrometers, so maybe that would explain why this one rings a little bit at a higher frequency. Now I just have to cut this excess off. wonder if using this installer as a surface to cut All right, I found out using this FEP installer thing to cut against wasn't very useful. So I just used a knife and cut along this outer ring, the metal. That was easy enough. And there you go, the installation of new FEP film on a frozen shuffle vat. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.